MDPV, I'm Josh, and today we're putting a 14 bolt mini spool in the Big Chief. Only thing is, Big Chief, it's not running a 14 bolt. In the Big Chief, we've got an Eaton HO72. This is an old axle. I think this one's out of a 1969 Chevy. They made them sometime in the 50s and ran them through like 70 or 71. But from what I've read, the 14 bolt side gears, the spider gears, fit in the Eaton HO72, which allows you to run 14 bolt axle shafts. So if the side gears fit, theoretically, a mini spool should fit. So, pick this bad boy up. This is from Precision Gear. And I picked this one because it's got a straight through design. There's some of them that are three piece design. Uh, this one's one solid chunk of metal with the cross pins machined into it where the three piece design, the cross pins go all the way through and so you don't have straight through design there. The reason I chose this one is because the 14 bolt axle shafts from what I've read are about a quarter inch too long and so you have to shave them down. I'm hoping that with this uh, straight through design I won't have to cut the axle shafts. I also don't know if this is going to fit. We'll see the direction of this video um, if I'm able to complete it this time around or if I got to, you know, have some machine work done. So, first step, we got to drain the oil out of this sucker, um, get the axle shafts pulled, get the member pulled. This is a pretty cool axle. It's, uh, it came out of um, the three quarter ton and one ton trucks. And so it's as strong or stronger than a 14 bolt from what I have read. It's got a gigantic ring gear, um, but it's also got a drop out third member. And eventually I want to build a rear cover for it that is a little tougher. Um, but for now, we're just going to run the stock cover. Anyway, let's get the uh, oil drained out, start pulling these axle shafts. All right, there she is. Thing's heavy. It's not in the best shape. There's a little bit of pitting on the gears, but no chips or anything. So we're not gonna worry about it. Anyway, now I gotta get this carrier out, and I don't want to have to like reset up, you know, the the gears here. So I'm gonna leave this side set where it is. This side here, I'll uh, you know make a reference mark and. Um, make sure I count how many turns I back this thing off so this will, you know, pop out. And then I'm going to pull this half off to get the uh, mini spool in there. That way I don't have to pull the ring gear off the uh, carrier. I'm going to reuse the ring, bolt, ring gear bolts. That's not best practice, but it's all good. I mean, it's also not best practice to use. A pitted up ring gear. This thing was like sitting outside for who knows how many years. And I just tried to clean it up the best I could and it's been working so far so run what you brung I guess. Alright so let's get a mark on there start tearing this guy tearing this guy apart. Alrighty we are at the moment of truth right here. Let's see if this bad boy works. Does not. Dang it. Looks like it'll fit there. This needs, this either needs machined or this needs machined. Not sure what makes the most sense. Dang it. Well, I still gotta pick up my axle shaft, so tomorrow morning I'm gonna head to the junkyard and uh, look for some 14 bolt axle shafts. I'll keep my eye out for um, some of these, some of these Eatons came with a Detroit locker, so I'll look for that. And if that's the case, then I'll end up running the, you know, Eaton axle shafts um, but maybe a 14 bolt Detroit might fit in one too we'll see um, 
if it's you know machined like that. Dang it. All right, well, we'll see what I find in the morning. All right, got the mini spool and the carrier back from my dad. Check it out. They did good. It's like perfect fit now. So, uh, yeah, he took it to a buddy's machine shop and they fixed it all up and he did some filming. So let's check out what they did. The pins are two thousand small. Yes, two thousand yeah, small. Yeah, they're, they're probably correct for that. Okay, perfect. So that's a nice little. It'll assemble easy, as far as those are concerned. Yeah. Leave that on there, see if I can focus in with my phone. Move it out just a little bit. We're hitting on that radius. Are you going to move it out a bit? Yeah, we're hitting on the radius. Okay. case right here there's uh, alignment marks on the, the ring gear side of the case and the uh, outside of the case so you want to make sure that when you assemble it those get lined back up right on okay very good thanks Brandon 
You the man. Yeah, you bet. All Anytime. Right. <laughs> so yeah, they definitely hooked me up big time. Uh, quality work fits perfect. And uh, make sure those marks right there are lined up. So we're going to go ahead and bolt this sucker back together. Um, even chamfered the holes for me. So good. So, yeah. Get this thing bolted up. Get it put in the uh, third member. And, uh, yeah, then we'll see if those axle shafts fit. Hopefully I don't have to cut them down. Shouldn't have to since there's no center pin. All right, let's get after it. Ah, uh, I just found out that uh, I've just lost a ton of GoPro footage. And so if in the beginning of this video, it seems like something's missing, it's because there's something missing. Uh, but I'll do the best with what I got. Also, dang it, man, that means there's a couple other videos I probably won't even be able to make. Big time bummer, whatever. All right. We're on to uh, torquing the ring gear uh, bolts. We're gonna torque them to 14 bolt specs. Um, so it's 120 foot pounds for the ring gear bolts and then 135 foot pounds for the caps. I'm gonna do it in um, thirds. So we're gonna go 40, 80, and then 120. Um, so it's probably gonna be a struggle. All right, the diffy is in. It's pretty good, got the drive line hooked up. So now, now we're on to the next unknown project. Will these axle shafts fit with this mini spool? I think they will, but we're gonna find out right now. back on and uh, fill her up with oil and then uh, see what we can break with all our new traction. Well I uh, vastly underestimated the amount of gear oil I was going to need so we're going to have to finish this up tomorrow. Just just need a couple quarts of fluid. Dang it. Uh, but yeah we'll fill it up tomorrow and play around a little bit 
Let's see what it's like with a full spool. All right, got the diffy all filled up. Got Ford Nan out of the way. Let's go try this thing. It is super cold blooded, so I already had it warming up for a few minutes, but uh, might take a few more. Switch to the GoPro. Hopefully, GoPro works today. Uh, yeah, let's go uh, rip around. sure what that looked like on camera but man a little bit of moisture even at the locker that also was getting tough Well, that is pretty awesome, uh, and I love 
love getting the moisture man a little bit of rainfall really changes it up out there um so definitely gonna be needing some tires these these were uh used neatos and they are well used like there's barely any tread so is there any tire sponsors out there well send me a set of 37s that would be pretty sweet anyway that axle uh, the eden ho72 i think it's you know underrated and overlooked big time so yes there's limited aftermarket support but a lot of them came with 456 gears you can find them with 513s they're as strong as a 14 volt and i just showed that you know 14 volt mini spool will fit with just a little bit of machine work um, swapping in that 14 volt axle shafts that way if you do end up breaking an axle shaft which i think would be pretty hard under you know most wheeling conditions you can actually source the axle shafts a lot easier i've also got 14 bolt uh, disc brakes on it i used the rough stuff specialties 14 bolt disc brake conversion and it bolts on to this axle so the things that are hard to come by with this axle are bearings and gears so uh, you want to find one that's in decent shape um, you can find the bearings and gears but they're expensive they are hard to find anyway that's all i got for you on this episode if you want to support the channel we got merch on teespring link in the description below you can shop on amazon via any of the links in the description become a patreon uh go check out our patreon page there's a few different tiers there and it's a per video support so anyway uh there's a few little perks on becoming a patreon so if you want more information on that go check out the patreon page uh yeah wheel it wreck it wrench it repeat see you next time